Hi, welcome to ADI Technical Training. Today, we're going to show you how to configure an AMPR camera. Right, what have we got here? I've got an NVR on my local network, uh, and I'm using the SADP tool from HIC to detect its IP address. So I'm just going to log on to that using a web browser. And here we have it here, I just need to log on. What we're presented with now is the NVR and its connected camera. I'm just going to nip into the NVR to check a few settings out. It's quite important to make sure your timing date settings are correct and that you enable DSD. At least set the correct time zone up and make sure the timing date is correct. The next thing we want to do is connect to the camera. We can't do that directly because it's plugged in at the rear of the NVR. So what we need to do is enable that feature. And that's in the advanced menu settings and it's called enable virtual host and we press save and up pops is successful so then when we go back to camera management we'll now see a link and that'll take us directly to the camera login page which we're doing now and I'm going to log into the camera right here's where we can adjust the image First thing I want to do is just get the zoom level correct. You open that panel up and you can use these zoom controls here to zoom in and out of the image just to get the right view and it should refocus once that's best done. Once you've got the zoom level correct, nip into the configuration. And let's, we're going to ignore this for a minute. We're going to go straight to the picture and I want to adjust the picture quality, get that up at 100% and press save. You can edit some of the titles here as well. The next thing you want to do uh, is go over to the image and go and check the exposure settings out a minute. Uh, we need to make sure that that's up at a 250th of a second. It's quite important for AMPR cameras to be have quite high exposure time. Once that's done it automatically changes when you do that. We can then go and adjust the capture area, which is here. And all you have to do is make sure you've got it enabled and just start adjusting the boxes to the right area, wherever you want the detection area to be. And you just press save and that'll create the box. And that's what it's done. We want to have a look in this next menu here. This is where we trigger the alarm output. Uh, what I want to do uh, is trigger only on a forward direction, i.e. cars coming towards the camera. And I want to trigger the alarm output because uh, that's connected to the barrier. Uh, and what I might want to do is just change the times. I just want to say I'd only want to open the barrier from 7 a.m. up to 6 p.m. Uh, and just press save and you can copy that down to all the times and dates for every day of the week if you like um, uh, and all you have to do is just press save um, and that's that barrier set up to open between the hours of 7 and 6 at night uh, on a Monday uh, th th there you go uh, the next thing you want to do is just edit the blacklist as well um, you, you may or may not want to trigger the output uh, but you certainly might want to notify something else uh, and, and that's where you did it that and if there's anything else that gets picked up not in the blacklist not in the whitelist you can also decide what to do there uh, and that's that setup right we now want to add a black and white list so here's the menu uh, I'd suggest you export uh, the blank file I'm just going to export it to my downloads directory so you can edit it and put the plates in make sure that is exported correctly so now that I've, in, I've edited the file, I'm going to import a new one. Just to show you what I've done, uh, I've edited this file and it's got some columns in it with some license plates in it. Uh, and you, if you want it on the white list, you put a one in that column. If you want it on the black list, you put a zero in that column. Anything else goes in the other list. So now that we've edited a, a file, we're going to import it. So we're going to browse to the location we're going to find the file and we're going, to, we're going to import it. Just make sure that it's imported correctly. And there you have it. Your, your, your list is enabled. Um, 
uh, all that remains is you to go and test it. I'll just log out. Thanks very much.